In a rare act of public defiance, hundreds of supporters of a jailed rights activist staged a protest on Friday in Ufa, the capital of Russia's Bashkortostan Republic. Police detained at least seven people, a Russian news outlet reported from the scene. Russian language Sota Vision released these pictures of police warning people they would be arrested for the unauthorised gathering. <laughs> Protests began in the southern region this week in support of minority rights activist Fail Alsinov, who was sentenced on Wednesday to four years in a penal colony on charges of stirring ethnic hatred, which he denied. Considered a hero among the area's ethnic Bashkir population, Elsinov has spoken out against their recruitment to fight for Russia in Ukraine, saying this is not our war. Bashkirian journalist Ruslan Valiev. The Bashkirs said, just leave us alone. Historically, we are nomads. This is our land. We've ceased to be nomads, but please let us mind our own business. Leave us alone and stop lecturing us and imposing your ideas. This explains why this protest emerged in the first place as I see it. Public protests in Russia are scarce given the risk of arrest, especially since the start of the war. The timing is more sensitive given President Vladimir Putin is standing for a new six-year term in March. Analysts say there is pressure on regional leader Rady Khabarov to keep the situation under tight control to prevent embarrassment to the Kremlin during an election campaign. Valiev believes the police action taken so far shows authorities are concerned. I think that the unrest will continue in one form or another, be it something active in the streets or more quietly in the kitchens or backyards. Something will keep happening. This issue cannot just be simply swept under the carpet. A Kremlin spokesperson played down the protests on Friday as specific and falling within the competence of the Republic's regional authorities.